The dynamic section tool now gives more visual feedback through the use of multiple sections, the definition of two visual clipping planes, and the ability to reset the rotation manipulator with one click. The dynamic section tool is located in the palette under the Evaluate tab. To use the dynamic section tool, I first select the geometry I would like to use. In this case, I will drag a box around the entire model selecting everything. Clicking on the dynamic section tool brings up the manipulator and the corresponding sections, here seen as red lines on the model. I can take the sections and rotate them, as well as add any number of sections that I can now drag and rotate across the model. In this case, I'll put 13 sections on and drag that forward. Opening up the visual clip section in the option box and checking the visual clip option visually clips off the model outside of the dynamic section tool. I can still drag and rotate the manipulator through the model so I can now compare sections. I can also use the flip function under the visual clip to flip the entire manipulator's visual clipping to the opposite side. Checking clip offset gives me a visual section specified by the two yellow panes on the manipulator. I can scale this distance using the slider in the option box or simply dragging the manipulator together or further apart. I can still rotate the section using the manipulator. To rotate the section back to the XYZ coordinate system, I simply click Rotation Reset. The manipulator then returns back to its original state.